It's not every day it's this hot out here, but today it was that hot out here. And what I elected to do today was, let me tell you about the time where I first discovered outdoor climbing. Me, my friend, and I went to an outdoor boulder, and that was the first time I realized I'm not that strong at climbing, but that's okay. I re immediately didn't realize that. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh would you look at here. I do like outdoor climbing, outdoor bouldering as much as I cannot believe that I actually do. So what that prompted me to do was the next day, the very next day, I went and bought a trifold, but eventually that trifold wasn't good enough and then I had to replace the trifold and I bought two bifolds. But that's another story for another time. Point was, first time when outdoor bouldering, I was totally ecstatic. Well, it's quite fantastic. But then the issue arise and it hit me quite suddenly that uh, I don't know where to boulder outdoors. In Minnesota, I was totally clueless. I didn't know where to go but in the back of my mind i remember one time where i was driving by this bridge and on that bridge had some rocks rocks that made the bridge and i was like those look like something that you could put your fingers into and so the very next next day after my first day of boulder ring outside for the very first time with me my partner and i i elected to go to this area and then i you know did a little bit of traversing did a little bit up and down and I was like, oh it's not bad but it's not particularly hard bouldering but it is good for stamina work which hence prompted what happened to day <clears throat> nine degrees heat by the way so i went out there i strapped on my shoes as per usual because i'm a super cool dude and then i um well you know i like to grab the rock quite tenderly because you know you don't need to grab it too hard when you do stamina work nice tender open hand a little bit of faux crimping here and there but not too much actually bearing down and the purpose and goal of today's little fun little exercise i wouldn't even call it a workout was just traverse back and forth get a little pump going the arms sweat it out a little bit due to the extreme heat that was beaming down on me and the difficult part about this was that the foam camera overheats my body was still adequate but the technology wasn't up to par so recording this video is actually super hard and the thing i like about doing this is if I wasn't recording, I just put my phone in my pocket. I put on a podcast and you see all this length all the way, all the way down there. I'll just traverse it all the way down and traverse it all the way back. If I can, if even I can, I think I can, I think I can, who knows? Maybe one day could have been today, but the phone camera just wasn't recording. I would have, if it was, but it didn't, you know, kind of sad, really. You feel me partner G, but I got a little nice pump going. All the holes are good. Excellent. And if you're just training stamina, wherever ever you reach as long as you are dedicated to your fingertips touching the rock you will find a good register same thing with your feet every single foot hole what a banger but man that weather not the best and yo you may think look at all these bricks that's quite a monotonous path but that's not true because no rock is the same as another rock unless you cut it up and you know turn it into a jewel but that's a bit ridiculous with this type of stuff so now that the difference is evident looking at all these individual sections you can look at it as all individual differences therefore the monotony is not as monotonous as you may think it's actually kind of fun and though the difficulty from going from one section to one section in itself is not as hard may have just a simple v one or maybe two the fact that you could do it indefinitely is quite nice not to mention they have this little break right here i guess you could call it the crux where you have to do a little bit of side pole action it's really super cool honestly and in order to for you to Cross the threshold to go to the next part of the wall not to mention if you can go right believe it or not you can also go left therefore as a slight different challenge and of course you could always elevate it by two or three cinder blocks or degraded it or de-elevated by one or two blocks as well and you get a little bit of variance there and it's just a nice little quiet area where i could just climb back and forth for however long i want the occasional passerby will pass by then bother me <sighs> only sad part was The phone camera kept overheating. There's no point to this video besides the fact that I just wanted to share this. I don't do this often, but when I do, it feels like a nice walk in the park. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, partner.